Hi, Hi, Dara. Juliana Bolden from Black Tree TV. Hi. We're really happy to have you. Oh, you good? So you've appeared in some of the biggest television series ever, and this film is huge. How did you prepare differently for this film than the roles that we've seen you in in TV? I think that this film was a different, um, altogether a different ballgame because I knew that my role in this film was to create a home for Alita. And it was, you know, future and machines and, you know, we're looking at all of this sort of futuristic stuff, but she needed like a grounded sort of earthly home that she would come home to. And so um, that was my approach to it. And when Christoph and I met, it was going to really be about our dynamics since we were creating that together. And when he and I met, we just hit it off right away. We had the same sense of humor and that created sort of a, a grounded environment for us. You mentioned that you had to make this home environment real. Uh, yeah. Was any of the futuristic meets reality uh, sort of things that you were trying to achieve inspired by Black Panther and the way that they created a, a world that was believable yet in the future? Well, I think, um, to be honest, I mean, we started shooting this even before I saw Black Panther, but, um, but I will say that one of the things I found that connected is that in this film, the technology was really seamless in these people's lives, and they had found such a balance with it, and when I saw Black Panther, I felt the same way, that um, the, the advancements that they had were now a part of their lives, and it, would, it was a surprise to people coming from outside, but for them, this was normal life. And it was the same in this. I never like to pigeonhole women of color as black actresses, but there is a, a different experience uh, for you that you might have right now than when you first started acting. How the how, how far has how, how much have things changed for you in the way that you know diversity has opened up more opportunities? I just think it's such an exciting time. I mean, when I, I came out here six years ago to LA from New York and started, and um, I met a bunch of women like Lena Waithe and Issa Rae and all kinds of people that became my friends really early on, and they were just starting out, just you know, creating their own material. And um, you know, I was, I knew that they had this bright future. I knew that we were going somewhere, and so it's sort of just beautiful to watch it all come to fruition. To be honest, it's been, um, I've, I've remained hopeful because I've known those people, and and because I've known that that talent rises no matter what. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm, I'm grateful to see doors open for us. Absolutely. Look, last question. Talk about Robert Rodriguez, James Cameron. We're talking Avatar and yes. so many things. Yes. What were some of the most surprising things that you saw or learned from Robert and from James? I would say um, James found a flexibility, even though we didn't ad-lib very much with the film, he found a flexibility in allowing us to find if there was something that we needed to change and, and or there was something that we felt we wanted to add. He found a flexibility in allowing us to help create the world. And then Robert, I've just never seen someone so calm under pressure in my life. I mean, I, the amount of moving parts that were in this film and the fact that he was just sort of completely calm and relaxed and created such a relaxed, fun environment for all of us was such an example for me that I will I will take with me forever. Oh, and Ro uh, Rose, Alita herself. For Rosa? Yeah. Oh, I love Rosa. Me and Rosa, me and Rosa clicked really, really easily and quickly. We're both East Coast girls and we immediately connected and um, Rosa, it was really beautiful to see a female-led project where she was fully sitting in her power at all times. And I saw that in Rosa every step of the way. She fought for herself every time she needed to. Um, she made sure to take care of everyone around her. And I just think she led the film in the most beautiful, powerful way. Well, you look beautiful tonight, Idara. Thank you for spending time with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good to meet you. Thanks.